supposed to have some gains. Out here in the garage, bench bleeding the new master cylinder for the 78 Calais. Not sure if you guys uh, know much about bench bleeding. It's really not that hard to do. It kind of confused me at first on exactly what it was, but this is exactly what it is. You got a workbench, you got a vise, you put the master cylinder in the vise, and you basically, you get yourself a, a bench bleeder kit from the, uh, the auto parts store, or you make your own like I did. All I did was I took a couple of brake lines, and in this case I cut them off the 78 parts car, cut them short, put them on the master cylinder, and attach a couple of vacuum lines to the to the uh, brake lines and then some clear hoses to the master cylinder itself to the reservoir and clipped it down with some clothespins filled it with fluid and then I basically took where's it at took this big old Phillips screwdriver you give the master cylinder a couple pumps as if you're pushing the uh, brake pedal and what it does is force fluid through the mat through the brake lines up through the hoses and then back down and what you're doing is you're circulating the, the new brake fluid through the uh, the new seals and then up back around and you're pumping it you're continuously pumping it until all the air is worked out of the lines and you get nothing but a solid stream of fluid you'll see all the air bubbles coming in through the front and rear of the master cylinder there obviously air rises to the top so you want to make sure that those hoses are down deep in the reservoir so it's pulling fresh fluid that isn't contaminated with air and you just keep on pumping it and pumping it and pumping it until you work all the air out of the system the front reservoir is going to work, uh, usually uh, go through the procedure first and then followed by the rear but this is all primed all bled ready to go and ready to go on the cutlass all right, I pulled the old master cylinder off, and you can see just by that puddle of brake fluid right there that it was it's definitely bad. The fluid's pushing past the, the seals, and you ever see brake boosters where the boosters are all, the paint's all messed up down below underneath it, or it's all wet underneath there. That's what happens. That's what a brake booster looks like without the master cylinder. I don't know if you care to know. Here's the master cylinder sitting here in a bucket. Hopefully they have enough daylight here where you can see that. You can see the whole back of that cylinder is just gooped up and wet from 33 years of uh, use right there. All right, so I'm ready to put the new master cylinder on. All right, the master cylinder is on, and this brake system is ready to be bled. So a couple of tips I have for you guys. You might ask, how does the fluid not dump out of there when you remove the bleeder, uh, bleeder lines? Well, basically, you put the cap back on it before you remove the bleeder lines and it creates a suction in there and it won't drip out or it drips out extremely slowly, at least slow enough where you can get the master cylinder mounted back where it should be. Uh, another tip, this right here is a line wrench. Always use a line wrench whenever loosening brake lines or fuel lines. Don't use a standard box wrench because you're going to end up rounding off the fittings. Once you round off those fittings, you're going to have to replace the line just because they're too difficult to get off or too difficult to snug back up. Uh, third thing, these lines tend to get rusted. You can actually heat up brake lines with the burns matic torch, like that one right there. Heat them up, don't get them cherry red, but heat them up enough where you can get them loose, Tip, put a wrench on it, work it back and forth, spray some penetrating lubricant on it. Obviously you don't want to heat up fuel lines or you might have a little bit of a problem on your hands. And uh, finally, as far as brake fluid and paint goes, uh, what you want to do is, is use brake fluid to rub out your paint if it's dull. Or even if it's just a little dull, it uh, makes a nice wax. No, really, I'm just kidding. You don't want to do that just because it might ruin your paint. I have yet to have it ruin my paint, but if it sits on there long enough, it probably will. So if it does get on your paint, wipe it off right away. All right, guys, go ahead, leave a comment. I should uh, bleed this, bleed the system now, and hopefully, it's enough to get this car back on the road.